What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I thought this would be so easy. This would be such a simple little concept to do. Just mascara, right? But in fact, there is a lot more to mascara than you think. And in fact, it is so much more than you think that possibly there are other products that will help to enhance the nice long lashes that you want. Mascara is likely the most feminizing makeup product out there and I want to be able to use absolutely anything I can in order to get the best result possible. Firstly, we're going to talk about the most important uh, second product you might want to use for your lashes, which is a mascara primer. This is kind of weird. So I talked about this briefly in my main mascara video. As you can see, it just smells kind of like mascara. It is white and it's a white product. So you have foundation primers, you got eye primers, even lip primers. It is something to be a foundation for another product to go on top of. It kind of essentially does is say this is your lash. So if we were to add primer on it, it would turn into this. The coating becomes the circumference or surface area of the lash. So instead of the length of your lashes being here, it's here instead. So that is the lengthening process. It's not designed to increase the longevity of mascara, but I mean, you have waterproof mascaras in that regard. This is more meant to add volume and length and to enhance the look of your mascara in the long run. I can't, I can't do it now. I already got mascara on. You'd apply it like normal and you'd wait for it to dry. If you apply mascara when it's still wet, the substances will mix together and that will be counterproductive. Next, we're talking about a lash comb. So if you deal with a lot of clumping, if you kind of struggle to get, you know, really precise and kind of define each and every lash, but you find they start kind of fusing together, unfortunately, you could use a product like this. It's essentially a metal comb that you can quickly run through after you've applied your mascara and that will separate and define every lash and it'll pick up any excess residue that is left on your lashes. The thing with these is they're very helpful when you feel like you need to do a second coat to kind of set it and add a little bit more coverage. But at the same time, when you apply the second coat, it's like starting to fuse together. So, so you can definitely use this. It will help a million for you. The kind of uh, more go-to way to kind of do this method to kind of clean up and pick off excess product is basically buying clean spoolies or mascara wands. You can get these like kind of in a bulk. You can get like 30, 40, 50 of these. And essentially what people do is kind of the same thing. You'd apply your mascara. If you see you're getting a little too much cover a little too much clump, a little too much spider legs. You can go in with a clean spoolie and kind of feather it out. That way the coverage is a lot less uh, severe and there's a lot less risk of the lashes fusing together with the amount of product that is in between them. Maybe a lash curler might just be the most important. If you're only going to get one of these you're going to want to get this. I assure you this will be in your best interest. Get a good one. It's worth the money. It is almost always, always advised by professionals to curl your lashes prior to applying your mascara. What it does is it obviously curls the lashes, but by doing that, it opens it up and makes your eyes far brighter and even bigger. Uh, in a lot of ways. And if we're talking feminizing the eyes, you might want to do that. So what you're going to do with this is put your lashes through the slot, get to the very, very base of your eyelid and do a nice firm squeeze just for a few seconds and you're good to go. Something that actually tends to wow people on the street is you use this as a curling iron. So what people do is they take their blow dryer and they apply heat to the part that's going to touch your lashes. 
Be very careful with this because too much heat. <laughs> uh, we don't want to get into that. Mm, wait for it to be at a reasonable heat. And essentially, since it's hair, that'll help set the curl for far longer. So again, this is an absolute must have when you are beginning makeup and working on trying to feminize uh, your face. You probably have longer lashes than you think. Like I said, um, there are like a lot of girls who tend to be like jealous of guys. It's like, how does he have such good lashes? How does he, how? A lot of people's lashes kind of go like this. So, you know, by basically how we're looking at ourselves, we don't see the length, but if you curl it, it forces the lashes to stand straight up. It's finally revealing the great lashes that you really do have. Absolutely mandatory. Definitely, definitely go for this. A mascara card. So when you start with mascara, you're gonna make mistakes. I mean, that's just normal. But what you can do to work around those mistakes is especially with mascara and you get the excess spray coming right off, uh, forming specks here, down here. People tend to use either their credit card or actual products like a mascara card or whatever to basically add a shield to your eyelids. You'd apply normally and then you have something behind your lashes so that any excess product that sprays over, it's gonna protect your nice eye makeup behind it. The same thing you would do for your bottom lash. There are in fact a ton of contraptions on the market that you can try out. They shouldn't be too expensive, but the DIY method is just taking out a points card or your credit card. Probably don't use your credit card, don't get mascara on that, but use something as a shield to get to the hard to reach places or the parts where you're a bit nervous you're gonna start spraying everywhere. So that is everything for this video. This is just a simple bonus video for all of the extra products that you might want to check out. Check out a lash primer and definitely go with a lash curler. But if you do have any questions for me, please comment down below. I am not a big YouTuber, so I will surely answer all your questions. Stay beautiful, everyone. Take care.